Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your general reading for June 2018. If the setting looks a little bit different, it's because I'm at a friend's house um, in another part of the UK for the weekend and I'm sitting in the lovely space that she's given me to sleep in for the weekend. And uh, yeah, that's why. Now, um, I went for a sort of afternoon out in a place called Canterbury and went to a lovely spiritual shop and found myself today the white tarot. I hope you guys can see that because it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, um, uh, how can we say, the, 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 the sun is shining through the window so it might be a bit, I'm gonna, just going to see if these cards work with the, with the daylight or else I might have to just use a different deck. Let's have a look. Do you do? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that can work. So yeah, they've just got a white background. Uh, it's based on the Rider Waite, obviously. And um, it represents a fresh look at Arthur Edward Waite's conception of tarot. It has been forged via the reinterpretation of the letters celebrated the pictorial key of tarot to tarot. This fresh look at pictorial key to tarot has been realised by the painter Andrei Letnev. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to use the white tarot today. Same, it's based on the Rider Waite, so it's very similar, obviously. And we're going to use that today. Um, for your advice card... We're going to use, let me just put this here, Leo. I hope I said Leo at first. Was it Pisces or Leo? I think I said Leo. Did I say Leo? Hopefully I said Leo. My mind seems to just like, boop, forget stuff and for no reason at all. Um, we're using the angel answers for your advice, but we're going to read the advice card first because often I find what I tend to do or forget to do sometimes is I do a reading and then I forget the advice card afterwards. So we're going to do the advice card first. Let's just shuffle the deck. And I'm going to, make, I'm going to try and make these readings a little bit shorter because I've got the love readings to do as well. So Universe Spirit for Leo. What's the advice that you have for Leo for June 2018? What's the advice that you have for Leo for June 2018? Show me. It's saying it's on. There's two cards that were upright together, and it's still it's saying unlikely and in the near future. You need to ask others for help because I just because when you get a card like in the near future, you want to know well what what is it that the the angels are telling you in the near future? It's saying that you're going to ask, you're going to need to ask others for help. Okay, so that's your third card. So it's saying unlikely. Maybe this thing with unlikely is something that you is that you're unable to help yourself with, Leo. Okay. And in the near future, because it's unlikely you're out unable to help yourself, you're going to probably need to ask others for help, okay? So we're going to just put down those three cards on here, and we'll refer back to it and see what the uh, the energies around you are saying about that. I like doing it that way, because then we can formulate the reading around that. So we're going to use our uh, white tarot deck. Because it's so sunny, the only problem with the white tarot deck is that the, the, the colours can get drowned out. So, uh, Universe Spirit in a 10 card Celtic cross reading. What is the situation coming in for Leo in the month of June 2018? What is the situation coming in for Leo in the month of June 2018? What is the situation coming in for Leo in the month of June 2018? What can you see coming in for Leo? Show me Leo in June 2018. And I usually reverse the cards about three times. So Universe Spirit, what's the situation you see coming in for Leo in the next, in June 2018? Universe Spirit, I'm reversing the cards three times. This is the final time I'll reverse the cards. What's the situation coming in for Leo? In the month of June, what's the situation about for Leo? Show me what messages you have through this reading for Leo in the month of June 2018. Show me. Okay. So I'm going to split the deck into three. Oh, the cards are beginning to slip. Oh, I might have to change uh, this reading over to the floor, potentially. Not for you, probably for the next sign. So let's have a look. Okay, they're sticking, that's fine. Let's have a look. That's sticking fine. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
I think this might be something to do with your stability. Could be a financial situation, Leo. You've got you guys showing as being the nine of coins reversed. Can you see that? So the nine of coins reversed is all about feeling unstable financially. In the upright, this card shows somebody who has gained. They've usually gained financial abundance. So through the work that you do, um, through where you live, for example, it doesn't. Uh, pentacles don't always represent finances. Sometimes they just represent your self worth and feeling quite contented and comfortable in that. Uh, with the nine of coins, sometimes this can be in the reverse about bad investments that have been made. Sometimes this means that you're looking to leave maybe a property. Maybe you can't cope with all of the responsibilities on your own. I think that really, in essence, we don't have a lot of financial cards around this uh, energy here, around your re reading, Leo. But I think that certainly there is overall with this card it could be your foundations are unstable at the moment especially if you're single especially if you're a single mom or you're a single dad and you're having to shoulder a lot of the responsibility i think that some of you guys might be swamped by that with the nine of coins in the reverse you might be some of you guys might be leaving a property with the nine of coins in the reverse but i certainly sense that there's <clears throat> something of an unstable foundation for some of you guys at the moment in june now as a result of that the focus will be on the chariot and the chariot is all about moving forward and it's all about controlling those energies because the chariot here, as you can see, hopefully you can see that, he's got two sphinxes showing there, Leo. And the two sphinxes are the external issues, the external forces that probably could threaten to, throw, uh, to turn um, to split Leo apart. So you're being pulled really in two directions. And what the charioteer wants to do is it wants to focus on getting ahead. So it needs to find the confidence. It needs to have the ability, the strength to pull these opposing forces into line so it can move forward. So I think that if there is a sense of financial instability or instabi instability somewhere in your home, perhaps in your work, perhaps in your financial situation, um, perhaps in the south, for example, the nine of coins. And I think the focus for the month is on pulling this together with the chariot in order to move forward. Now, the root issue for what's going on at the moment, at the basis of everything, is going to be a king of pentacles. So this could be, uh, for example, a bank manager, for example. It could be uh, a landlord, for example, with that king of pentacles. It could be somebody who's dealing with your finances with the king of pentacles, for example. It could be a boss with the king of pentacles energy the king of pentacles all kings represent people who have power and authority and with the king of pentacles because he deals with money matters this could be somebody financial but certainly with the king of pentacles this could be somebody as i said who works in property uh your bank manager uh, real estate agent whoever this is this is the person here that I feel that some of you guys might be dealing with in the month of uh, June 2018. And this is the person that's probably upset the apple cart to a certain extent. Uh, now, in the recent past, or around that, you're going to have this King of Wands. And that is actually Leo. So that's probably you, guys, Leo. Um, and this is all about you having the motivation and the desire, I really think, to pull yourself out of this situation. Um, your challenge is the Seven of Wands, and I think that the challenge being the Seven of Wands is you guys agreeing to something here, because the Seven of Wands will always in the upright fight its corner. No matter what challenges it faces, it will stand and it will be counted and it won't back down from a fight. But your challenge, and I think that's what it is, uh, because your challenge is actually backing down Seven of Wands in the reverse, which is why your focus is on trying to fight these opposing forces so that you can move forward in a really confident and successful way. The most likely outcome is the emperor. Now, the emperor could be somebody that you take the situation to because this person is higher than a king. So this person would have the ultimate decision or would make the ultimate decision. So you might be looking to take this situation to a higher force, I think, with the emperor energy showing there. Coming in, you've got the four of swords in the reverse. And I think that the four of swords in the reverse is about you guys taking action with this four of swords reversed. I could have read it as you guys maybe mentally feeling quite restless because remember swords when you do tarot you read the elements of the card so you know we've got a major here but we've got pentacles here so this might be to do with your home your resources the nine of coins in the reverse means loss of resources loss of independence loss of foundation you also have a money man or woman sitting here as the root issue the king of pentacles uh it doesn't show as being a bad person he's not he or she isn't reversed but nevertheless it is showing somebody who has great power and authority in terms of material situations you have yourselves here as the king of wands thinking about what your position should be what you're going to do you're motivated by something here your problem is backing down from it you might just take it to a higher power the emperor somebody who has the ultimate decision making uh, abilities 
The Four of Swords, we've got as the next element, which is all about your mind. So it's all about the way that you think. It's all about ideas. And it's also about action. The Four of Swords in the reverse, in terms of mentality, means to often to feel very restless with the Four of Swords reverse. Uh, or this can mean taking action. Now, coming in, what you've got is the Hanged Man reverse. So the Hanged Man reverse, for some of you guys, is not surrendering. I think that this is you guys with the Four of Swords taking some form of action, maybe with the Four of Swords reverse. And I see influences coming in being the Hanged Man in the reverse. So the Hanged Man in the reverse would say to me, no changes, or not uh, the inability to surrender, or not wanting to surrender. So it's really, for me, looking at this reading so far, you guys, I'm seeing you not backing down on a situation here. And that might be so far why the cards came up, the advice cards being it's unlikely. Maybe unlikely you're going to win in a situation here, Leo. And you're going to, in the near future, you really are going to need to. Oh, dear, that's just flicked out. Well, I can't go back and get that. So we know that the card is unlikely. And in the near future, you're going to need to ask for help. Okay. And it might be that if you guys are... Because your, your challenge is backing down the seven of wands in the reverse in your challenge position and we've got you guys four of swords still in battle i think with these four of swords in the reverse being very restless probably and still in battle and we've got the card of the hanged man unwilling to back down when that card's reversed your fears are maybe that you're not going to benefit from this situation nine of cups in the reverse okay maybe as well for some of you guys that you know all this hard work all of this uh, uh this fighting for some reason that some of you guys seem to be doing for a particular cause that it's not going to turn out well it's not going to benefit you you're not going to get your wishes fulfilled the overall outcome is the eight of cups so i think that some of you guys might be stuck in limbo and this is why i think those uh, advice cards were showing us it's unlikely Maybe the unlikeliness is that you're still stuck in limbo with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. There's no resolution to this situation. There's no change with that Eight of Cups in the reverse. Still stuck between winning and losing on a situation because the Eight of Cups reversed often means to be stuck in limbo. So I think that some of you guys are still going to be stuck in limbo. And that might be why it's still saying it's unlikely that you're going to win right now and in the near future you're really going to ask for, need to ask for backup because whatever it is that some of you guys are doing here, it probably won't be enough to win whatever this situation is. Let's have a look at why you guys are the Nine of Coins reversed. Why is Leo showing as, as being the Nine of Coins reversed? Why is Leo showing as being the Nine of Coins reversed? Okay, so it's because of the Knight of Cups in the reverse. I think an offer didn't come through. Because the Knight of Cups in the reverse means it usually means some form of offer has not come through. Or maybe there is something that fell through. When you get Cup Energy, the Knight of Cups usually, because the cup is open... It usually represents an invitation or an offer that's being made. In the reverse, this is often a broken promise or somebody backed out with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Or an offer has been, you know, an offer has been retracted. So I think that an offer didn't come through with this Knight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody might have let you down. But I think that some of you guys are facing a time of instability, perhaps in your finances. Maybe an offer didn't come through, uh, Leo, or something was rejected with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Now... Uh, the reason that everything is happening is this King of Pentacles. And why is the King of Pentacles showing us the reason that everything is happening for Leo in the month of uh, June 2018? Because of the Three of Wands in the reverse. So it might be that this person hasn't gotten back to you. So the King of Wands, or he hasn't put a, um, a new idea, a new project into motion. Three of Wands in the reverse often means that you've put out a message to a particular person, but there's either been delays or the project's fallen through, or you just haven't heard anything. So I think that this King of Pentacles has turned, is, has, is turning up as the root issue, because I think this person turned something down. I think you didn't get a response you were expecting to get through with that Three of Wands in the reverse. And in the recent past, you find you got yourself as the King of Wands in the upright. And why is it, uh, Leo showing as the King of Wands in the upright in the recent past? Well, I certainly feel that just looking at the directions of the cards, I think that you're still in a place where you're saying there has to be another way through this because the King of Wands has got its back turned to that devil. Now, the devil card is all about being in bondage. The person who would least want to be in bondage with the uh, of the court cards is the wand people. They're free spirits. 
they are people who like to roam they like to feel a sense of freedom not to feel tied to situation and it's got he's got his back can you see that he's got his back turned to that devil so i think that you guys have been very motivated to try and take another path because you're looking in another direction the king of wands is somebody who's highly motivated and they've got lots and lots of ideas that they can put forward so i think that you've been looking for another way through this situation i think you've been looking at another direction to release yourself from this uh this situation from this situation that has got caught you up in bondage with that devil energy showing there leo i think you've been looking an, at another way to release yourself from this devil energy and the devil energy i'd probably read as this being this king of pentacles three of wands and the knight of cups in the reverse it just looks to me like you with the uh, nine of pentacles reverse you found yourself to be in quite a a, a difficult situation uh and a very unstable situation a financial situation maybe something to do with a new project an offer didn't come through or something was rejected it might be that this king of pentacles being the root issue is that this person didn't see any future in this project and i think this king of pentacles is the knight of cups in the reverse i think this person turned down something you had proposed um because this can be a proposal that's turned down for example or somebody's turning down turning you down so i think that you find yourself in an unstable situation whether that's financial or in your home remember it is a pentacle so it's usually um something to do with your resources or something to do with where you live it's an ex it's what you hold in your hand is the pentacle okay something that you've built up and i think that you find yourself possibly some of you guys as being very unstable financially maybe you wanted to get a loan for example uh, for some of you guys and i think this king of pentacles saw no future he saw no point in giving you this loan or giving you this help for example because he saw no future he didn't see a way that he could get anything back from it and i think you've been looking at other ways the bondage of the devil energy actually i think is relating to this pentacles card because i think you find yourself unstable in an unstable situation in june 2018 uh leo because uh this is what you wanted to get yourself out of the devil so i think that you guys are looking to get yourself out of a pretty difficult situation it might have been a financial situation and now somebody's turned you down because they saw no point in giving this thing to you what you're saying is i've got to look for another way to release myself from this bondage it's not the bondage of the king of pentacles three of wands it's the bondage of this nine of coins in the reverse um now your challenge is the seven of wands in the reverse surrendering or giving up which is good actually oh, one minute Jeez, oh, i'm always dropping cards Ugh. Let's try and get this one up. At least it didn't drop behind me because if it did, I'd be very annoyed. So why is uh, Leo's challenge the Seven of Wands in the reverse? Why is Leo's challenge the Seven of Wands reversed? Okay, because, you know, you've got a Seven of Swords in the reverse. So Seven of Swords in the reverse means to find a way around a situation. Often in, in the upright it is that as well. Okay, because the Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords reverse means to... Uh, when this is in the upright, and because I wouldn't read this as a deceptive card right now, because this card can mean to be cunning, and it can mean to find, in the upright it means, well, okay, I need to be cunning, I need to be savvy, and I need to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for with the Seven of Swords? I'm looking for a way to, this is the card of being calculating, being savvy, being intelligent. So this is in the upright. And it's a shame that this didn't, because I would have thought it would have made more sense in the upright. This is about trying to find a way through an issue with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Um, I'm just trying to think of why you would, your challenge would be the Seven of Wands in the reverse, which is all about backing down. So your challenge is backing down because of the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So the Seven of Swords in the reverse is often something that is revealed to you, okay? The Seven of Swords in the reverse is going back to clean up a mess, okay? I think that it's because you know that something can be cleared up here. So your challenge is backing down because you know that something can easily be cleared up here with the Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords often means in the upright that one is falling oneself. So I think that you guys have got great clarity of mind with that Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, with the sun. I would read this now, Seven of Swords in the reverse, as optimism. Now, this is why the tarot can be pretty tricky at times, because you've got to think quick on your feet, especially when you're doing readings for YouTube. Why would your challenge be the Seven of Wands in the reverse? You guys evidently don't want to back down on this situation, because as the King of Wands, you're looking for ways to release yourself from this bondage. 
from the problem. The problem is the nine of coins. So you're still looking for ways to release yourself from this unstable situation. I think it might be financial. Even though we don't have many financial cards, I think the strength is this king of pentacles and that nine of coins in the reverse. So for me, it looks like it might be something financial, something to do with your resources. And I think, Leo, that what's happening here is you're still looking for ways to release yourself from the instability of your finances. You've asked for help, but I think some of you guys might have been turned down in terms of a loan or some sort of financial help from an authoritative person that could give you that help. That's the King of Pentacles. And your challenge is backing down. Because I think with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, you know that this can be cleared up. You also have great presence of mind with that Seven of, seven of Swords in the reverse, that there can be a successful outcome to this situation, which is a good thing with the, um, with the Sun. The Sun is also your major card as well. So there's a lot of confidence going on here. So I think with the Seven of Swords, you know the problem is giving up on this. So your challenge is you don't want to give up on this because the challenge is the seven of wands in the reverse, giving up on the, yourself, giving up on this situation. Because with the seven of swords, you know that there is another way because the seven of swords in reverse also refers to there being another way around the problem. You know there is another way around the problem. OK, and this is all about is well, I think with the sun being uh, your uh, major card, there's another way around the problem in which I think with the sun energy, you're extraordinarily self-confident about that with the sun energy. And as a result of that, the energy around you in the month of June 2018. Uh, uh, sorry. As a result of that, and this card flicked out, so I'm going to take it, the ten of wands in the reverse, and that is the release of pressure, pressure, pressure. Burden. So your focus will be on handling, managing the difficulties that you're facing for some of you guys with that chariot energy, because you believe that in the you believe that with the ten of wands in the reverse, that if you continue to try and fight these opposing forces, that it will enable you to release the burdens. Now, those burdens with the ten of wands in the reverse are the nine of coins in the reverse and the devil card, because they all suggest some form of a burden. So you know that if you carry on trying to manage this situation, you at some point you're going to be able to release this burden. And therefore, the most likely outcome will be this emperor. And let's have a look at why the most likely outcome will be the emperor. Okay, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so I think the most likely outcome will be somebody who has great power and authority, who knows how to manage finances with the queen of pentacles sitting here. So you're looking at somebody who's a higher power because the emperor is higher than the king. So some of you guys will be looking to approach, I think, with this emperor energy, uh, somebody who has a greater higher power in terms of managing finances, which the queen of pentacles is. So, you know, it might be that you go to a financial advisor and they say no. So you say, OK, well, I'm going to go to somewhere else that can help me, somewhere that's probably got far more um, ability to uh, help you through this financial difficulty, Leo. Uh, we've got in the immediate future the Four of Swords reversed. And why is the Four of Swords reversed for Leo in the immediate future? OK, so I think that this is all about restlessness because, again, we're getting the card of showing, showing you being turned down. The Ace of Wands in a reverse can mean, well, no. We can't start something with you. We can't give you any help with that Ace of Wands. So this is a failed project. So I think there's restlessness because I think if the most likely outcome is you guys going to a, a very powerful individual who manages, um, who has great, um, great experience as the Queen of Pentacles does in managing people's finances and putting situations into order as that Queen of Pentacles does, then I think that you guys will start to get very restless once you find maybe that this uh, this project, this uh, with the Ace of Wands um, in the reverse, is probably turned down. It's a no-go with the Ace of Wands in the reverse because you're not seeing any changes coming through with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Uh, you're uh, coming in. Influence is coming in, Leo, by the Hanged Man. And let's have a look at why the Hanged Man is coming in reversed because of the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so you've got a lot of reversals showing up here. Um I think that you've got somebody coming in here. So this hanged man in the reverse shows somebody who cannot see things from another perspective. They don't see things in another way. And it's somebody showing up as being a king of swords in the reverse. So king of swords in the reverse would usually show as somebody who's quite unfair 
for example. So I think you've got somebody possibly coming in. You're experiencing somebody who's unfair, I think, with this King of Swords in the reverse. They don't see things from another way. They don't see another perspective. And this is showing us somebody who's probably quite biased. I think because the King of Swords in the upright isn't a particularly biased card. He's a very unbiased person. He believes in justice and fairness. So I think that this is with the uh, Hanged Man showing in the reverse, Leo. You've got coming in somebody who fails to see things from another perspective because they're quite a biased person. And it might be for some of you guys, you've got problems with your financial credit, that type of thing. So it looks to me like you've got people around you or some a couple of people around you in June who seem to be turning you down. Um, it looks to me it's something financial like a loan. Maybe you've got an... I think if you've got a very unbiased person who cannot see another way or can't see a way of helping you with that hanged man in the reverse or refuses to help with the hanged man in the reverse because their perspective is so tunnel visioned and they're, and they're a very biased individual with this king of swords in the reverse, then I think that what's happening here is you're asking for help, but because it could be something to do with, for example, your credit history, or maybe there was something to do with an old loan or something that uh, uh, went awry or went, uh, that went wrong in terms of your finances, in terms of maybe you had some problem with paying something back or something like that, You've got people who say, well, look, rules are rules. If you didn't do this and if you've got this mark on your credit history, we can't help you now. And they're not willing to break the rules a little bit because it's all about being quite biased against something, I think. that Because we, when you do tarot, you've got to read between the lines. Why have we got somebody who seems to be quite tunnel vision, the hangman in the reverse, who's biased, king of swords, in the reverse? He's not unbiased because unbiased should be the king of swords in the upright because he'll see things from two two positions in the reverse he should be somebody who again is tunnel vision like the hand but in the reverse so i think you got somebody coming in like that um and i think your restlessness really uh in the immediate future is to do with you know if we go from say uh, the left here we're looking at you looking at ways to release yourself from this bondage from this problem with the devil and i think that you know you as a challenge for the month will not back down with the seven of wands in the reverse because you believe that there is another way to achieve success with the sun energy. And as a result of that, I'm seeing you guys being quite restless and you're restless because with the ace of wands in the reverse, it's been difficult to try and instigate or it's been difficult to try and uh, get a new project going or get a new, um, get somebody to say yes to you with the ace of wands in the reverse, Leo. And again, you seem to be getting somebody that's coming in. And I think that this unbiased character of... I've just dropped another card. Oh, my God. It's the, the surface that I've got it on. It's slanted. Um, so let's just see if I can pick that one up. Uh, three of Wands reverse. So this biased individual I'm seeing coming in for some of you guys. Oh, my God. Three of Wands. <laughs> biased persons I'm seeing coming in for you guys, Leo. I think it's the same deal as this person. That's uh, that's the root of the problem. This King of Wands in the reverse. He seems to... Uh, three of Wands in the reverse can be bad news, delayed news, or somebody who doesn't want to start a new venture with you. So I think that you've got a couple of people around you who don't want to do this. And the most likely outcome is you're going to go to someone who's got great power and great authority in terms of managing people's finances. Um, your fears will be the nine of cups in the reverse. I don't see that as being a hope. I see that as being a fear. And why is Leo's fear the nine of cups uh, reverse? Show me. Well, there you go. Because of the wheel of fortune in the reverse. This is all about bad luck. So, um, or blockages with the wheel. Or you're being blocked. Your luck is blocked. Your money's blocked. Uh, your chance for positive change is blocked because there are blockages in the way with that Wheel of Fortune. So your fears are, with the Nine of Cups, not resolving this situation in a satisfactory way because with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, some of you guys might be feeling, shit, you know, I feel blocked. Why is the universe blocking me from having... I think that this is... There are four types of reversals in, the, uh, in a tarot reading. Uh, you get your blockage reversal, that's you blocking yourself, you get your protective reversal, that's the universe blocking you, which this might be, mirroring is all about just a card being reversed, and then there's another one, but I can't remember what it is, um, it's something to do with the shadow side, but this is uh, the, wheel of, the wheel of fortune, I would say universal blockage with the wheel of fortune being reversed, so it might be that you guys fear not getting what you want with the nine of cups in the reverse because you're being blocked. Uh, that's a mirroring reversal, which is just the, the reversal of the upright, or it's a protective reversal, which is the universe blocking you. And therefore, the outcome shows as the Eight of Cups. And why is the outcome the Eight of Cups reversed for Leo for the month of June 2018? 
Well, I think that you're going to find yourself in limbo, as I think that you're going to find that your choices are being reduced here. Because I think that a lot of you are kind of going to different people and asking for help. And it's not working for some of you guys, because the Seven of Cups in the reverse isn't just about realisations. It's also with the Seven of Cups in the reverse where your options are being re severely reduced. And you might yourself find yourself with the Eight of Cups in the reverse in limbo, okay, um, still in the situation because your options are reduced. Or it might be that some of you guys have to return to a particular individual or a particular uh, uh, plan that you abandoned some time ago. It might be that you have to return to another creditor, somebody who charged way, way high interest and you said no no i can get a better deal than that it might be some of you guys have to return to something that you um abandoned long time ago because you didn't want to go there because your options are reduced with that seven of cups in the reverse or it could be that you just simply find yourself in limbo because your options are severely reduced here i'm seeing and this is why i think the advice uh leo is that in the near future uh, we already have that card i can't go back and get it because you see my ass up in the air on camera uh I think that this is why the advice is it's unlikely that you're going to find in June, perhaps for some of you guys, the options that you're looking for, the perfect option that you're looking for, and that in the near future, you're really going to have to ask other people for help. And those other people might be what it is that you actually have to return to, especially maybe if it's family or friends. Some of you guys might be too proud to ask someone, so you decided to abandon it. Well, the Eight of Cups Reverse might be telling you, well, you're going to have to go back to Plan A rather than dealing with plan B. So some of you guys might have to go back to plan A in the month of June 2018 if you want to resolve the situation. We're going to get this reading quickly again. The month of June 2018, Leo, shows you guys being the Nine of Coins in the reverse. I think that financially you might be in a, a, a little bit of a predicament with the Nine of Coins in the reverse. The Nine of Coins in the reverse might mean that for some of you guys you have to move out of a property. Maybe you've been independent for a while and you have to go back and live with family with that Nine of Coins in the reverse because you can't... Um, uh, you can't afford to pay for where you are or, you know, this is simply just feeling financially unstable with the nine of coins in the reverse because I think that you were turned down with that knight of cups. I think somebody turned you down with the knight of cups in the reverse. OK, so if you have both of these cards upright, that knight of cups energy, if you can see that there. Leo might be saying to this nine of pentacles person, can I have some of your money? Whenever you get a, pent a cup card and a facing off against a pentacle, usually the, the cup card is asking for this person's possessions. They're asking for the person to fill their cup. Well, you might have asked, but I think that you find yourself with the nine of pentacles in the reverse in a financial predicament for some of you guys because this was turned down with the knight of cups in the reverse. And the root issue is all about a king of pentacles who... Um, I think didn't want to be involved in this particular venture with the three of wands in the reverse. This person decided with the three of wands in the reverse they didn't want to launch uh, this new contract or this new partnership with you with the three of wands in the reverse. Also, three of wands in the reverse means to pull out of a group or pull out of a partnership. So I think that somebody pulled out of a situation. This is why you're showing us you guys finding yourself being financially unstable because you were turned down with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. But I see you guys in the recent past facing outside of the devil and you said, you know, actually I'm going to find a way to resolve this situation as you would do with the King of Wands. This is all about taking control. You can see he's right in front of that devil because, you know, I'm going to find a way to release myself from this problem with the devil behind the Knight of the King of Wands energy because your challenge is giving up. You don't want to give up, uh, Leo, in the month of uh, June 2018 because you know that there is another way with the seven of wands in the reverse you believe there's another way with the seven of wands and the seven of swords in the reverse sorry that you can achieve success with that sun energy but as a result of that this is why you guys are trying hard your hardest to manage these opposing forces these external opposing forces problems challenges this is all about managing your challenges managing challenges so uh, this is why the focus is managing these challenges in the month of june 2018 because what you want to do is release the burden the burden of the ten of wands is the nine of coins in the reverse and that devil card that you seem to want to uh, turn your back on um and the most likely outcome is you're going to have to go to an authority figure some of you guys it might even be parents i'm getting here because the uh, emperor can be your dad and the Queen of Pentacles could probably be the wife. So it might be for some of you guys, you can, the most likely outcome is you're going to have to return to family or parents or something like that. But also I think it's going to be that you're going to have to go to the top dog, the top person, the person who really has authority in terms of helping you to manage your finances, for example. So for some of you guys, it might be that you 
you know, you're worried about going bankrupt, for example, and you're trying to find ways that you can get a loan to fix something so you don't have to go bankrupt, that type of thing. Coming in, though, we do have you guys, I think, with the Four of Swords, feeling mentally very, very restless, probably sleepless nights with that Four of Swords in the reverse, as you found yourself being turned down, Ace of Wands in the reverse, okay? And I think that coming in, influences coming in, will be that you'll find that you're going to get, again, when you try again for some of you guys, uh, somebody with the hanged man in the reverse who can't see things from your point of view because they're very biased. This is about somebody who's really stringent on sticking to the rules. Um, your fears will be, well, what if I can't achieve the ultimate goal of getting this situation sorted out with the Nine of Cups in the reverse because I'm being blocked? The, I think this is actually a mirroring reversal. So this is just being blocked by all of these people that keep saying no to you. The outcome shows for some of you guys uh, in the overall outcome for June, being stuck in limbo as your options are really, really reduced. And uh, or some of you guys having to go back with the I think with the eight of cups in the reverse, that can mean to return maybe to plan A as you find your options being reduced here. So plan A might be having to go to mum and dad or having to go to somebody who's got great power in terms of managing finances. And I think it could be somebody like a creditor, you know, a, a debt collector or that type of thing, or maybe going on a debt plan. Maybe this is something like bankruptcy. Who knows? But, you know, for some of you guys, I think that you're going to have to go back to plan B, plan A. Right? I think you've tried everything. And I think this, I know it doesn't sound like a great reading or even a positive one. And I'm sorry, a lot of you guys, it won't, you know, it won't resonate with some of you guys, obviously. But for those of you that it does, I think it might be that you have to go back to plan A because everything you've done with plan B simply isn't working. OK, and finally, your advice cards are, sorry, the other ones behind me. It's unlikely maybe you're going to be able to resolve this situation completely, I think, in June 2018, uh, because in the near future, you're really going to have to ask others for help. And those others for help, it looks to me to be maybe this queen, this emperor and the queen of pentacles or emperor stroke queen of pentacles individual. All right, that is your reading for general reading for June 2018. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. Have a great day and I'll see you on your love readings. Take care. Bye bye.